Chester Fryer built this about 20 years ago, or over 20 years ago. He has many formations around his property, but Stonehenge is the most popular. Uh, they're just old and something different. They're the oldest, one of the oldest things on earth, and maybe, maybe these rocks that we're fooling with here might, might have come from ice ages. I want them guys want to know more all that. His imagination is just something to see everything that he has built. You know, he can just see things in the rocks and, you know, he's dug them up from the earth and brought them here for people to enjoy. I do enjoy food with rocks. It, it, it's not that hard to work. It looks hard, but it's not. It, it's got to do something, you know, I enjoy working. And I enjoy it, and it's a gift, and, and uh, look at have it. Here in Mumfordville, we have pride in this. People have come from all over the United States. We have had people from other countries that would come here. They would stop in the Welcome Center and know about Stonehenge and want to come. We would send them out here. And a lot of them will come back to us and just say how amazing it is and how much they enjoyed it. Well, the first thing I built the outline of it, it in a, in a and on the last to build the center because I hadn't found the rocks to fit the center. And without looking for rocks, one day I found 15 rocks make the horseshoe in one little old spot. Kind of like it was meant to be built. You got to kind of have a little imagination of what you're doing to make it look good. Chester Fryer is not just an eccentric, he is an artist. It's just amazing to see what he's built out of rock. You know, I think I got a gift. How, how can you have a job you enjoy doing? Most people got to work for a job that don't, they don't even want to do, right? And when you got a job that uh, you got a, a gift to do it, and don't know how you got it, and you enjoy doing it, that's pretty lucky. I think Chester has had a logistical miracle keeping this here. You know, with all the heat and then the cold, the snow, we've had tornadoes, we've had everything, and it has just stood proud. It has never moved. You know, I think he did an amazing job getting this set up where it would just stay here forever. Everybody, I'm Chip Holston and I am cherishing this Kentucky life. And if you enjoyed that story and would like to see more, click right here to see more.